Hey, welcome back to another episode of I'll Give It a DIY Try. Today, we have a light in the garage that it seems like the ballast is probably out and the light is just flickering on a low visibility. It's really supposed to be like this one over here. Nice and bright for everybody to see. So it's not a terribly expensive light and probably the best thing is just to throw it away and buy a new one. But on this channel, we don't throw things away if we think we can repurpose them. And what I would love to do is I'd love to repurpose this into an M18 battery light. They're very expensive, so we could save some money and pay for the replacement light and also hopefully get a very nice uh, battery operated light out of it. So let's take this apart, uh, see what kind of voltages it takes once you get past the rectifier from the 120 house volt and see if we can't use it to uh, have a portable light. So let's get at it. All right, well this came off easy. So from the 120 volts, comes in, goes into this board, gets rectified, the voltage gets dropped, and then it goes out on the bus on these four wires here. So let's take one of these off and find out uh, how many direct volts direct current is required for each one. Looks like there's thermal paste on the back of this. And I always thought that these were a decorative feature. This is cast aluminum to get rid of the incredible heat that these generate. So I'm going to put this aside. So what we have here is we have two lights in parallel across 12 light serial adjoining of all of these lights. Now I did measure the voltage output of this converter. From what I can tell is it takes the 120 alternating current from the socket and converts it into 90 volts. DC. So when you run 90 volts across these 12 segments, you take 90 and divide it by 12 and you get 7.5 volts per segment. So these two lights pull 7.5 volts and then they double the amperage that they use since there's two of them. Our M18 battery runs roughly 20 volts when charged up. We can take and use three of these segments that would use that uh, 22 and a half volts, but still be able to power them. If we tried to power more than three of these segments, there will not, not be enough voltage to light them. So we can test this theory out. And if we put all 18 volts, we get nothing. Now I'm going to scratch the protective coating three segments in so that I can apply, apply voltage and that works. I should be able to take any three segments we can light them up. This red lithium battery has the ability to put out a lot of amperage. So if I gain these segments into parallel units, I can power them all with my uh, 18 volts but just draw more amperage to get all of them to light up. So we're going to have to uh, cut through these segments to divide them and then run kind of some jumpers around to connect them all. So let's get at that. So let's uh, break these up into uh, four different segments. Jesus. So what I want to do for this 
to make it a more compact design, I'm going to flip it backwards. Put this back in here. So now that we're done, we have a fully Milwaukee M18 battery on top of an LED light. This thing was broken. I was going to throw it away. But now, with the flip of a switch, we have instant light. Now, I am amazed at how quickly this does get warm. So a lot of amperage is going through just for this particular light. I think if we used all of these, this battery would probably drain in uh, just a few uh, minutes flat and probably wouldn't be very good on the battery. It would drain it so fast. Here we have it on and off in a nice compact. When you're not using it, this just slides down. You can move it about, put it at different angles if you want. So thanks for tuning in for another episode of I'll Give It a DIY Try, where we do things that we're totally unqualified to do. So make sure to uh, comment down there if you like this project. I'll do more of them. Like and subscribe. Give me uh, motivation to keep, keep at it. I have some other ideas of things that I can uh, put the M18 power to, but I thought this was a great use of uh, a piece of equipment that was just going to get thrown away. So catch you at the next one.